Okay, in this video I'm going to review what we discussed about exponents in class. Um, first of all, if I were to have a problem that looked like that, what that means is I have 2 to the second power, and all that means is that this, this power up here, or this exponent, is just notation to tell me that what I need to do is multiply 2 a total of 2 times. So it's 2 times 2. If I were to write, for example, 3 to the 5th power, all that's telling me is I'm multiplying 3 5 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? And again, let's just pick another number. What if I were to do 7 to the 4th um, power? Now all that means is I'm multiplying 7 a total of 4 times. One confusion that a lot of students have is that they see this number and they see this number and they know they have to multiply something and what they end up doing is multiplying that exponent times the base and they do this and they tell me the answer is 28 but this is absolutely wrong. That's not what that notation means. This is just a really kind of short way to write out a very long problem. For instance, if I wanted to write uh, 10 to the 1,000th power, this is a lot shorter. It's a lot shorter way to write this number than it would be if I were to actually write out 10 times 10 times 10 and so on a thousand times. Or even if I were to solve what that is and write that number out, it's a phenomenally huge number. It's just a nice, pretty way, a nice short way of writing out either big or small numbers or a shortcut to saying how many times you're going to multiply the same number over and over again. So that's the gist of what an exponent is. But when it gets confusing is sometimes we get an exponent that looks like that, where we actually have a negative number for the exponent. Um, up, up above, all I've shown you is positive numbers. 2 to the second power, that's a positive 2 in the place of that exponent. Uh, positive 5 where the exponent goes, a positive 4 and a positive 1000, but sometimes you can get a negative exponent and that means we have to do, we have to think about this a little slightly different way to help us solve the problem. Um, so be, to show you what, how we can think about it, I'm going to give you a pattern. First of all, I'm just going to show you, we're just going to take the number 2 and show you what the answers would be if I wrote out their answers in order, I just, I, I just, I'm using 2 as the same base, but what happens to this 2 when I change the exponent? Sometimes it's a negative exponent, sometimes it's a 0, and sometimes it's a positive exponent. So if I just give you the answer of what they are, like if you were to put them on a calculator and figure it out, 2 to the third power equals 8. 2 to the second power equals 4. 2 to the first power equals 2. Now how I got all those is I multiply 2 times 2 times 2. When it's 2 to the third power, I multiply 2 3 times. When it's 2 to the second power, I multiply 2 2 times. Okay, and this I only had to multiply once, that's why I got 2. But down here I get some crazy stuff. 2 to the 0 power is 1. 2 to the negative first power is 0.5. 2 to the negative second power is 0.25. 2 to the negative third power is 0.125, and so on. And actually, there's sort of a pattern you can see when you look at it in terms of decimal numbers, but there's a nice, pretty pattern that's a lot easier to see if instead of expressing these as decimal numbers, you express them as fractions. So what I'm going to do here is, in another column, I'm going to give you the equivalent answer for these answers here. This is what a calculator would tell you, but I'm going to give you an equivalent answer all in fraction form. We know that a whole number expressed as a fraction is simply the whole number over 1. So 8 is the same thing as 8 over 1 when written like a fraction. 4 is the same thing as 4 over 1 when written like a fraction, and 2 is the same thing as 2 over 1. 1, we could say it's 1 over 1 if we want to. 0.5 is written as 1 over 2 when it's in fraction form. 
2, 5 is written as 1 over 4, or 1 fourth, when it's written in as a fraction form. And point 1, 2, 5 is the same thing as 1 8 in fraction form. Now that we've written all these numbers, these answers to these problems in fraction form, and we've put them in some kind of an order here by larger exponents going down to 0 and then into the negative numbers, what we see is a really nice pattern. If we start off with 2 to the 0 power, we just get 1, because anything to the 0 power is always going to be 1. So that kind of stays, that's sort of like, I see that as a center point. But when we go up into the positive numbers, we see 2, 4, 8. When we go down into the negative exponents, we see 2, 4, and 8 also, but now they're in the denominator rather than in the numerator. So a way you can always think of negative exponents is just simply writing the reciprocal of that same number when it's positive. So 2 to the negative 1 is the same thing as 2 to the first power when it's written in its reciprocal form as a fraction. So 2 to the negative second power, well, I know that 2 to the second power is 4, so it's 4 over 1 in fraction form. Now if I want to reverse or put it in reciprocal form, I'll end up with 1 fourth. 2 to the third power is 8. In reciprocal, for, uh, reciprocal form, it's 1 eighth, and, and so on. So in other words, you can always figure out what the answer to a negative reciprocal is. I'm sorry, a negative exponent is. So let's say, let's do 2 to the negative 6 power. If I know what it is in pos as a positive exponent, I can write it the same way um, as a negative exponent, but just in reciprocal form. So 2 to the 6 um, power, if I want to write that in fraction form, I might want to first start off by saying 1 over 2 to the 6. And notice that that sign changes. It goes from negative sign to now a positive sign because I moved it into the denominator. And then I can figure out what does 2 to the 6th power mean, or I mean, what does it equal, and that will give me my answer. If I want it in decimal form, I can convert it to decimal form. But at least this gets me to an answer a lot quicker.